So you mentioned how the terpenes interact with serotonin and dopamine receptors. Can you talk a little bit about that and maybe contrast it with how some psychedelics interact with those same receptors? Definitely. Yeah. So in the example, limonene in particular being our citrus terpene, it does help to prevent the reuptake of serotonin and also helps to boost the body's levels of dopamine. So serotonin being the neurotransmitter that modulates mood and dopamine um, being our reward neurotransmitter. So both of them make us feel rather happy when they're accumulating in our brain. And so limonene helps to facilitate that experience with psychedelics also act specifically on our serotonin um, receptors or I'll say most typically on our serotonin receptors. And in the example of the psilocybin mushroom, which is the active compound of psilocybin that our bodies are actually interacting with, they act on a specific type of serotonin receptor. It's the um, 5-HT2AR. So it's a subtype two serotonin receptor that again, allows us to really feel that certain euphoria that is common to certain what I call entheogenic compounds. So compounds that make us feel more empathetic to the world, more empathetic to us, that really boost um, our mood and our sense of kind of euphoria and belonging. With psychedelics, there's also a whole kind of almost destabilization of the brain in a good way, not in a scary way, but in a way that definitely produces more hallucinogenic effects, further distortion of reality. Whereas cannabis, yes, it acts on certain neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine, but also in terms of its cannabinoids, its its main class of compounds, it really keeps to our cannabinoid receptors, which have a very specific set of functions. So while it can be psychedelic in ways, it doesn't necessarily go into the hallucinogenic zone, unless we're talking about really high doses.